Ah, there she goes, crazy dog. Welcome back to Brisbane. Uh, in my last video I spoke about inverter efficiency and the effect that parasitic loads have on that efficiency. Uh, I spoke about the fact that inverters themselves uh, use a certain amount of power just to power their circuitry at night. Uh, I spoke about the ways that inverter manufacturers try to reduce that power consumption by having various standard modes, uh, standby modes, sorry. And then I spoke about uh, the problem of, of uh, parasitic loads, things like your wall warts, uh, your mobile phone charger, your laptop charger. Uh, here she comes again, she's got a stick. Crazy dog. <clears throat> All of those little loads can basically add up and they will prevent your inverter from going into standby mode. So basically your inverter self-consumption at night will use a very large proportion of your uh, potentially a large proportion of your battery storage if you've got a fairly small system like I do. So how have I fixed this up? Well no before I go into that the other crazy thing about all these parasitic loads is that they're they're um, mostly all DC loads. So your mobile phone charger is taking the 240 volts that is produced by your inverter. Uh, so your inverter is taking DC from your batteries, converting it to AC with an efficiency loss there. Then it's going into the wall wart that converts that AC back to DC, which has got another efficiency loss there. And finally you're charging your uh, charging your mobile phone or your laptop battery. Now this is just, this is a little bit silly in itself, it's not very efficient. So what we can do is actually do direct DC to DC conversion for, uh, um, for, for those DC style loads. There's two ways you can do that, there's uh, a type of regulator called a linear regulator and that's your, your IC based regulator like the 7805. Those linear regulators are the cheapest but they blow off any excess voltage as heat so if you're converting down from 24 to 12 basically all that excess voltage will be blown off as heat and you'll find that those linear regulators get quite hot. So they waste a lot of energy there, they're not very efficient so they're not the solution. What we actually need to use is something called a buck converter. Uh, and the buck converter works by charging an inductor, creating a magnetic field in an inductor and basically this is very simplified. I'll put a link in the, the comment section explaining more if you're interested. They charge an inductor, they switch the input power on and off uh, at a certain duty cycle, a settable duty cycle um, uh, and basically that inductor provides the current in between the, um, the, the on and off switching. So for instance, if you were trying to convert from 10 volts to 5 volts, the duty cycle would be 50%. <clears throat> they produce very little heat. These buck converters are really highly efficient. They're about 98% efficient. So they're a very, very good way of doing it. And they're not necessarily that expensive. <clears throat> I'm just going back inside the office now and I'll show you some of these gadgets. Crazy dog will probably follow me. Oh yeah, here she is. Okay, so on the left we have a large wattage buck converter. Uh, this is a 72 watt. There's two types of buck converters. There's step up and step down buck converters. This one happens to be a step up. So it'll take 12 volts and convert it up to 24 volts. But what I've actually got I run a nominally 48 volt system. Uh, when it's charging, it's, yeah, when it's in absorb, it's about 58 volts. Um, so I've got a, um, a 24 volt buck converter, so it takes that nominal battery voltage and converts it down to 24 volts. And then I take the output of that and I run it into another one of these buck converters, which is a 24 to 12 volt buck converter. And then basically, 24 and 12 volts are, are pretty common voltages um, that I use in my, my business. So I run a bus over here um, for using for my various test equipment here. 
uh, then for the smaller loads, well, for the laptop, then I take the 24 volt output and I go through a buck converter that takes it down to 20 volts, which is uh, in my case what the laptop uses. Uh, the Arduino here, uh, I think it wants from recollection 9 volts, so I've got another one of these little buck converters there that takes the 12 volt output one of these down to 9 volts. What effect has this had? Okay, well, basically, uh, previously, uh, my loads, my, my standby load at night, or, um, you know, the, the basically smallest load at night was about 130 watts. So if we assume a 10 hour night, that's 1.3 kilowatts. I've got a 20 kilowatt battery storage uh, and I only like to draw it down 20% per night so that's basically 4 kilowatt hours that I've got available per night so you can see that more than more than 25% of my nightly power allowance is used just on charging mobile phones and laptops and all those little those little parasitic loads that you don't really even think about. So I've been able to dramatically reduce that. Basically now, uh, what I've worked out is that 30 watts of that load is the inverter self-consumption. Uh, I've been able to reduce that down to about 10 watts because now it gets into standby mode because it's not seeing uh, all those um, parasitic loads. Um, so the inverter is has had a massive reduction in its battery uh, consumption overnight. All those other loads, basically, as you can see there, 130 minus 30, they were nominally 100 volts. Uh, sorry, 100 watts. Now what I found is that my total load, and this includes the inverter, has dropped from 130 watts down to 40 watts. So instead of using 1.3 kilowatt hours, or roughly, uh, it'd be roughly 33%, 30% of... Uh, my nightly 4 kilowatt allowance, instead of using that, I'm now using only 400 watt hours, which is equal to 10%. Just by using these fairly inexpensive buck converters. As an example, these guys, uh, they can be had on eBay for about roughly 30 bucks US. These little guys can be had for about 10 bucks US. Um, a lot cheaper than replacing batteries, that's for sure. Um, makes the whole system a lot more efficient. Hope you enjoyed my video. Uh, got any questions, leave them. If you like this video, please uh, thumbs up and subscribe for more interesting videos. Okay, cheers guys.